What's up, Doppler Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another Patreon request. This time it's a part two to a Patreon request, and there's gonna be a part three, part four, part five, however long it takes to beat this game. Um, we are back. Thank you, Harangar, again for the request. We are back with VA11 Hall A or Valhalla, you know, how that seems to translate over to that. But it has been a minute since I played, but we're currently meeting some interesting characters. We are making some interesting drinks and we're having some interesting conversation with that being said though i don't know what the actual premise or what the objective of this game is i've been told though it's very hidden and there's like there's still some secrets and stuff that can be discovered and it's not as linear as i think it is so with that being said though i'm gonna hop right on into this and i will see you guys in this episode thank you again for the patreon request herringar if you guys ever want anything you guys want me to play and or watch on youtube make sure you just check out that patreon down below you can always do that request it is an option as a tier available for you guys there but let's hop right on into this game okay then back in action it's funny jill says that because we are right back to where we were apparently so let's Let's get right back into this. The music is always, I miss this music, I can't lie to you. Good evening. This is like a robot. Good Eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Oh, it's a girl. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sai P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. That's a title right there. That is quite the title. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Hello, Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Oh, like, it's sweet. Nah, actually sweet. Although cool drink would be nice too, but not cool as in great, especially not as in big. So not a big drink but sweet and cool, and by cool, like chilled, which means on ice. More so since I get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover, so no karma treat either. Sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? That's it, I can do that, give me a second. So it has been a long time since I've made a drink, so let's see if I can remember all my mechanics. This is our recipe book. something specific by flavor we'll go sweet drinks okay sweet light and fruity it's not cold though is it when it comes to so yeah it's not this is this is not so it goes alphabetically if you go like this. So I definitely need to go by flavor, sweet drinks, sparkle. Um, optional karma treat, all aged and mixed, not on ice though. So sweet drinks, blue fairy. A blue fairy is for Adelaide, Flanagrite, optional all aged and mix. Nope. I need me a mountain blast. All on the rocks, which is ice and blended, which means mixed for a long time, which means mixed for more than five seconds, right? But she doesn't want a hangover, so caramatrine is the thing that's is the alcoholic content. But maybe that's why she wants it sweet and cold, so maybe that'll prevent her from having a hangover. I'm just gonna check the rest of them, make sure there's no other ones that are on ice that don't have caramatrine. Being smug assholes. Wow. Wowzer, 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 wowzer. Okay, so yep, we're going with the moon blast. Moonblast when she doesn't want it big, but if it's a bigger than 10, isn't it automatically big? But this one's exactly 10. I'm nervous. So six Adelheid, one Powder Delta, one Flanagride, and two Carmatrine on, on the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon. I've heard of a Hadron Cannon, but okay, that's interesting. Ice. On the rocks and blended. All right, Moon Blast is officially here. Let's try it. Here you are. Ah, yes, this is just what I needed. Thanks. Good job, guys. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can. Oh, is that? 
Is that supposed to be a joke on like white knights and the culture of white knighting, or is that like an actual thing? Like white knights were once a, a thing. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh no 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 no! You're thinking of Blitzkrieg Corps, uh, Corps, the one with huge plated suits. I'm gonna turn my phone on Do Not Disturb so I don't get any FaceTimes or anything. Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. Fair enough. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering, those suffering enemy attack. I like it. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times and ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. Wow, okay. What it means is that our duty mostly includes rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. Oh, I don't even have my light on in my room. The lighting on my face is probably horrible. Let me see what it looks like real quick. Hold on. It's not bad. I might just keep it like this so it's not as invasive on my face. So, sorry, Harengar, my light's a little, my, my face is a little deilluminated, but it, it's very intensive, this light, so I appreciate you. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely to the doctor. I'm also kind of a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of. But it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet someone that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. That's a good point. It's probably a good feeling. You must have seen some shocking sights. I actually have a friend whose twin brother, fraternal twins, shouts out Brennan, you're not watching this video though, but uh, his brother Bryson is a EMT? Firefighter EMT? I think he's an EMT out of firefighters. Please, I don't even know if that's a thing. But uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of like what this girl say is right here. She makes sure they get safely to the doctor and stuff, but he's, he got his first official save a couple of, it's probably a month ago now, probably a month or two ago. But it's where someone's officially heart stopped beating, officially like dead and brought, bring them back to life. Like that's crazy. So like must seen some shocking sights. Yeah, I, I'd agree. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. Oh, and it was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash and water was pouring out of a hydrant with the lights and scattered pieces of glass. It was almost dreamlike. Yeah, that's not quite what I would assume by shocking sights, but okay. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? I mean, technically, yeah. Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear you actually meant size? No. I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating size. For this girl's say is interesting. Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finish your drink, can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. I don't go to bars very often either, so I feel you say. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find. Classy drink, not big. By type. Classy. All right, bad touch. A bad touch is too bronson powdered. That's a lot of alcohol. All on the rocks and mix. We're nothing but mammals after all. Sour, classy, vintage. Okay. Sweet, classy, happy. Six, eight out of 10 smell. Oh, this is this one, the Branditi. Oh, maybe she might like the Branditi then because it's sweet too, you know? I know she was asking for sweet earlier. Classy cobalt velvet, bubbly, classy burning. It's like champagne served in a cup that had a bit cola left. Interesting. I don't think I like that one though. For this specific, yeah, no, definitely don't like this one. That's a lot of, she said she doesn't want to get a hangover. Mercury blast is sour, classy burning. All that all in the rocks and blood. And I'm gonna try the smug asshole one. The brand DT. Sweet, classy, happy. Okay. 
All aged and mixed. Not ice, age. Six Adelhide. Three Powder Delta. And one Carmatrine. All aged and mixed. A Branditi, serve. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've been uh, I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Oh, so maybe she wanted something stronger, but she likes this quite a bit. So I guess that's okay. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? You know my name now. I want to know yours. Oh sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian, Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. Just we're just being awkward about it. Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't want to angering and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. It actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. Okay. My mom used to be a veterinarian. I used to get her clinic. I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Okay. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. I guess there's nostalgia in anything, whether it be video games, dog piss, anything. Uh huh. What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when the other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything, anything like that. But ever since I felt, ever since then, I felt like this was my calling, that I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Hmm, that's an interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis, which is very smart. A generalization of anything, in my opinion, is not the best tactic. Like. All if one person does this, all this are bad, or one you know, got a individual case by case basis. I agree. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. I get you. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible, and going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Ooh, I feel you. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is just too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies that handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the process. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having a weird under the table deals. Interesting. There's also a squad dedicated to uh, fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. That makes sense. I believe some mem I remember when anti-bullying was such a thing like 10 years ago. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini, a brandy. That's what I just gave her, a brandy No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's a brandy Trust me, I'll get you one. I just had to make sure there was no martini. I literally just made her that though. So I definitely should have chosen her something else last time if this she wants a brandy to this time. But she really likes sweet drinks, but this is the only sweet drink earlier. Here, see? Hmm, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I feel like I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. Might be a bit difficult though. She's more into uh, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to. 
What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll hold it for her. Julian, I'll go check what I'll go check what that ever loving what the ever loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. Might not have been the best thing to say. Oh, that's what I was saying in my head. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ignis ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death and the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? <gasps> Alright, now where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Oh. Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Of all the really bad things on that list, you chose the very much least one, pickpocketing. Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? This girl is pretty extreme. All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 mur Jesus Christ! This girl is crazy! Or otherwise you'll interrupt me, is what she was saying. Well, this isn't going anywhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. Think carefully, Joe. Give her something that will calm her down. Hmm. Something that will calm her down. What are these? I might just go name, Loki. What else? But bad touch, beer. Pretty close to the real deal. Says the name of the mirror. It looks like a fool. Bleeding Jane. Bloom light. It's unnecessarily brown. One of those will make your teeth turn blue. Hope you brushed them well. Hmm. It's like champagne with a bit of cola left. It will knock the drunkenness out of you and knock you out cold. Don't want that. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety more than you'll be sleeping soundly. Ooh, that might be the one. A couple more, more of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. So, so far, Fluffy Dream is our number one choice. Fringe Weaver. It's like drinking... Oh, no. Frothy Water. PG rated shows. Favorite beer since 2040. Grizzly Temple. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie it was in. A punch, a, a punch made of innards. Okay, no. Nope. No thermometer was harmed in the creation of Mercury Blast. No relation to the Hadron Cannon. Okay. This drink does not represent the opinions of the Bart Pianist Union or its associates. Okay. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained it should be a piano woman if it was a piano man. Fair enough. It's actually sparkle, but too many of a skin problem made them redesign and drink without sparkling. That's funny. Sweet and light and fruity, as girly as it gets. So Sugar Rush would be my number two. Sunshine Cloud actually might be my number two. All right, I'm gonna try it. What was it again? Sleeping soundly, fluffy dream. Three out of hydrate. Three all aged and mixed, not blended. So three out of hydrate, three powdered, optional carmatrine. I'm not gonna give it to her. So we'll go boom, boom, fluff dream, serve. What is that? A drink? You're on a bar. Bars serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spike it? I, spice. I mean, spike, spice. I guess it's because you're spicing it, spiking it. I don't know. What do you spike it with? Roofies? TTX? I don't know what that is. Pumpkins? What the hell is pumpkins? God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? 
I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. That's the best case scenario. If I could get fired, I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits particular this particular penalty. The penal felony. I try to say penalty and felony at the same time. I wonder what the BTC is. The Bar Trade Commission? Bar something commission? It showed themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. Yep. And the thought of going through all that is just not good. Burr. Even if you said, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Really? That's a thing? Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Jesus. Any damage? A hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything? I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. I want to give the guys... I can't do girl voices very well, so I give guys voices, you know? Did you check inside the toilet paper locker? What about... Oh my god! How? Why? How? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in the cahoot. Oh my god. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Ah, smart. Second, we are the pretty much uh second we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like a spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making a drink this. I've offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right, it is indeed suspicious on my part, sorry. You can't just ignore the drink, go through that door and forget this ever happened though. That would be it. You're at peace, nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Eh? What about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of yours, fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and your work does matter. Uh, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? Hmm, it was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Well, I only made it to calm you down, so chill out there. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about all that. As she gets unconscious and we rape her and sell her organs. Ah, just kidding. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably uh, reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. Came out insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I see. I guess I, I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. That's what I was saying. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah. You might be right. All right, I'll take you and I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just go up the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up, then. Name, P, piano, man. Two Adelheid, three Bronson, five Powder Delta. It's a big drink. Five Flanagerhide, whatever that is. Flanagerhide, and three Carmatrine. All on the rocks and mix. This drink does not represent the union of the bar pianist the opinions of the bar pianist union and or its associates. Sour, it's a promo drink and it's strong. Two, three, five, five, three. On the rocks, mix. Boom! Piano man. Serve that joint. There you go. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad. I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. Okay. What? What? How does that happen? Some say he was off his meds and his, my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. Oh, God. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I'm going to disagree on that one, but okay. I see. The piano man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend. Uh, a pianist friend of his that, that just died. Apparently it makes all the flavors that said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. 
So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of the at the end of a long hard day of work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. Hello, Kim. I don't know if I can say work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. He's the chief. I remember, yes, he is the chief of that newspaper. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That's hilarious. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. Jesus. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic. I don't know. I've never heard of that word. Chauvinistic horse blower. Okay. Mm hmm. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things that he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked for that. <laughs> okay. And would you believe it? Uh, the guy became a decent at server maintenance despite having no previous. I mean, with Donovan at your back, I believe it. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, ugh, I hate his guts. Knowing that I've knowing that I have to work for him, it's ugh. why are you working there then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. It's a good description. All while answering the whimsy of people, all while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part of dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected and has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even that... Even then, when you're uh, with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Eh? Sorry, I got carried away. Oh, that's, you can you can go through. That's cool. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pass her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although. Although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Branditi, please. Another Branditi, huh? I'm, getting, I'm becoming the pro at making Branditis. Aged and mixed. There you go. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. That is how jobs go. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julienne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for, for, paid for first. You never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So no dreams? None that I felt particularly motiv motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but that couldn't just, but I j couldn't just, I just couldn't find it in me to study that. Sorry guys, after reading a long time, I get a little brain farty. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client, good night, man. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clean of my body. Sure, peace out. Um, who is he? A ghost, nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. 
why were you asking all those questions? I don't know why I'm switching off accents between everyone. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> because now I think about it, I really don't have a dream. I really don't have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize, we idealize the idea of having a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. That is very true. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Very true. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. Very, very true, Jill. Spitting facts out here. What I mean is, don't worry about it too much. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye-bye. Thank you and come again. Well, thank you for staying at Valhalla. Bye. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's, uh, is it? It's Jill, Gil. I'm gonna say Gil. Jill? No, Jill's with a J. So Gillian? Is that really his name, Gillian? Interesting. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was just here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up and had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling uh do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Not really, no. It's not like it's not like you uh call me that because I'm a stranger, it's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give you uh, give a small bonus for dealing with that bathroom. Total earnings, drinks total, mistakes, zero, commission 30%, today's payment, tips, nice. Flawless serving bonus. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. Let's go, guys. Today's total transfer, 2480. Hey. Your membership to Shining Finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 by then. It is currently the 14th. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse danger. You can now visit JC Elton's. So I need $800 in my account on the 18th. Look at boss. Look at, look at me. That's boss. We're going to carry a ghost took my money. Funds 2488. Go to work shop. Hold to unlock. This is the new thing I can go to. Mickey concert. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit Mickey concert. Mickey concert. Okay, let's all limit the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with boyfriend. I'm going with. How would you like? Oh, okay. Fucking normies get out. That's so cute. What the hell is going on here? How far does this go? This thread is closed? Okay, interesting. The augmented eye. Oh, it's the newspaper. Local woman, local hero. 70% are reduced consider. I think Alice Rabbit may be, might be a dog. Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speed. So why is it impossible to imagine a gifted dog using the brilliance of programming? Makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe. Okay. So if I were to go to the shop. It was a hollow. This is the Elton's place I can go to now. It was a hollow plant, right? That's what I wanted. 600 bucks. Yeah, I could do that. Sold. Now, that's what it wanted. Is there anything else I want in here? Sort of cartridges, cutesy game poster. Can carried witch flying on a broom. I think I like the cutesy game poster. I also like this poster. I got both, cause fuck it. Your membership to the shining will automatically renew on the 18th mixture, yep. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. You can now browse Danger U and you can visit JC Elton's. Do I, oh, there's a poster, right? With a witch right in the broom. There's the other poster maybe. There's a hollow plant. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. All right. Well, in terms of this episode, I think this was a great spot to end this next 
episode two. I think I'm going to record episode three right now, though. But Herringar, like I said, thank you for that request. I don't even need to put outro music on here because there's already this music going on, which is fucking awesome. Thank you, Herringar, for the request. Um, this game is very interesting, I should say. I like the conversation. I like the characters. Um, like I said, I'm just curious as to see what my objective is. I know in four days, I definitely need to have my uh, money up. I got enough money right now, but if I, as long as I keep bartending the way I'm doing, I should you know, be working out pretty well. But like I said, I'm going to hop in this next episode. Thank you, Herringar. I'm going to end it right here. I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>